Hello everyone, welcome back to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Thandiwe Newton is likely headed to rehab and has allegedly separated from her husband Ol Parker, according to a new report. The actress, 49, recently denied claims she was sacked from her leading role in Magic Mike 3 over a heated argument with co-star Channing Tatum, and has since been replaced in the role by Salma Hayek. According to Page Six, staffers on the movie became worried about her health during filming in London, with her agent flying in from Los Angeles to try and smooth things over. The publication reports that Thandi Wei has been suffering with emotional and family problems after separating from her husband Dol, 52, who she shares children Ripley, 21, Nico, 17, and Booker, 8. Ol is a British filmmaker who previously wrote and directed the 2018 musical film Mamma Mia. Here we go again. A source said, Thandi Wei had been acting strange on set, she has been very highly strung. Her apparent breakdown caused so much disruption, it became clear she couldn't play the role. There is a lot going on in her personal life, she and her husband have separated. She seemed so stressed she even brought her two pet rabbits to her hotel for emotional support. The insider added that Thandi Wei fired her UK agent of three decades as her US agent Gabby Morgerman flew in to try to help. They said, Thandi Wei's team wants her to go to rehab for mental health support, she was supposed to leave immediately for a facility, they tried for a Malibu rehab, but they couldn't take her. Arrangements are now being made to go to a facility in Arizona, if she agrees to go. Mail Online has contacted representatives of Thandi Wei Newton for comment. Thandi Wei exited Magic Mike's last dance after 11 days of filming with Channing due to a family matter. The Sun reported the alleged argument between Thandi Wei and Channing, which was said to be unimaginably vicious, was over Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. A Warner Bros. Pictures spokesperson said, Thandi Wei Newton has made the difficult decision to step away from the production of Warner Bros. Pictures Magic Mike's last dance to deal with family matters. The statement comes after insiders told The Sun that Thandi Wei is planning on suing studio chiefs at Warner Bros. over the incident. The argument reportedly took place on location in Paddington and culminated with Channing driving off set in his car. A source said, Channing Tatum is the producer and number one on set, Thandi Wei Newton is the number two star. But 11 days into shooting and it's all over, they fell out over the debacle at the Oscars. I was on set, I watched her and watched him, they were in and out of the house where we were filming having this confrontation. After the row he just went, I am not working with her anymore, him being a producer, it's his movie, so shush is off the movie. The source added that all scenes filmed with Thandi Wei will now have to be reshot with Salma while the film's director Steven Soderbergh reportedly didnt take a side in the argument. A spokesperson for Thandi Wei told Mail Online, this report is completely inaccurate. The actress was previously credited as Tandy Newton before she reverted to the original spelling of her name three decades after it was misspelled in her first film. She revealed that Tandy was a careless misspelling in the credits of her first movie, the 1991 Australian film Flirting, co-starring Nicole Kidman and Noah Taylor, and it has stuck ever since. That's my name, it's always been my name, I'm taking back what's mine, she told British Vogue in April 2021. The original Magic Mike movie premiered in 2012 and was loosely based on Channing's experience working as a stripper in Tampa, Florida. The flick starred Channing, Alex Pettifer, Matt Bomer, Joe Manganiello, and Matthew McConaughey, and revolved around Adam, a 19-year-old who was suddenly immersed in the world of male stripping. Magic Mike's sequel, by the title of Magic Mike XXL, was directed by Gregory Jacobs, and released in 2015. Channing confirmed that he would reprise his role for Magic Mike's Last Dance in November on 2021. In a recent interview with People he expressed that he wants the film to be like the Super Bowl of stripping. I want dancing like we've never been able to do in the other two movies, because we had to be honest to what the reality of that world is, which isnt great dancing. 
He also spoke about the importance on the movie having a lead female character, I want to have an equal, if not even more centralized female character for Mike to really play off of and almost to. I don't want to say, to have her, take the baton, but really let the movie be about a female's experience and not Mike's experience, because it has been so much about Mike and the guy's experiences. These movies are very, very female forward, at least, that is our intention. The film is set to premiere exclusively on HBO Max. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.